Greetings everyone, my name is David Robinson and I'm the Garden Sage, author of the Grower's Handbook. I started in the hydroponic industry 20 years ago at a store called Pacific Northwest Garden Supply in Surrey, British Columbia. At that time, it was really the mecca of hydroponic gardening. After 10 years in Surrey, I opened Pacific Northwest Garden Supply in Nelson, British Columbia. Welcome to my store. Look forward to taking you inside and showing you what we got going on. Stay tuned. After 20 years of working with the gardeners in BC, helping them achieve the best yields they can, I've come to realize that there are factors that go into maximum yield. The number one factor being genetics. Number two factor being environment. Number three factor being systems. Number four factor being nutrients and additives. I find that most new gardeners conceive this order of importance in reverse. They usually come in looking for a magic solution in a bottle, believing that nutrients and additives are the number one factor going into maximum yield. The next thing they conceive is that there is a holy grail of a system that will help them achieve those bumper crops. And then of course, they may start to look at their environment, but often overlooked is the original foundation, the whole reason why we're gardening, the genetics that we're working with. So first we have to understand what we want to create. So we have to pick a specific genetic that is going to fulfill our purpose. There's a lot of information available these days to research your genetics. You can Google it, there's apps for it, there's books. So once you've identified the plant material you want to grow for the specific purpose that you have a need for, you can then research the reputable breeders that are available. Starting plants from seed is going to give you the best run of good, successful gardening with fresh genetics. We usually find we get about two years at which time the health of the plants can start to decline. We may start to infest them with diseases. They may be compromised by viral infections, at which point it gets harder and harder to get those big yields and we have to rely more and more on crutches, nutrients, and supplements. So if we take the time to take our favorite genetics and obtain a favorable breeding counterpart, perform a true breeding generating new seed, and then taking the time to sprout that seed, identify favorable phenotypes, which you can then carry on for a couple more years to come with super successful gardening. Now, once you've got that genetic foundation that is going to lead you, you can start to look at your environment. Now, solid reasoning showing that genetics is the number one factor is explained in the concept that if we take awesome genetics, put it in a mediocre environment, our results are usually still very good. If we take mediocre genetics, putting it in an ideal environment, our results are usually still average. So we're not bringing a pony to a horse race. We're gonna figure out what genetics we need, what they're for, we're going to identify the best sources, obtain them, and then care for them in a sustainable manner. So the next video, we're gonna look at environmental conditions and how we can support maximum yield from good genetics.